Hey guys, welcome to CR Interior Designers. Chetan here, and in this tutorial, we are going to do creative hard surface modeling. So now let's get start. I have just added one plane, and now I'm just adjusting its scale, and then add a loop cut like this at the center. And you need to add a few loop cuts like that. Then you need to create the basic shape for your mesh. It's totally depend on your creativity, and I'm going to create here a simple design. And then I have taken the symmetry here. Okay. This is totally depend on your observation. So just select this edge, and then you need to move it. I just want to create that curved hard surface kind of model, okay? Which you can see on the hard surface, uh, like uh, vehicles and hard surface characters, armor, such kind of things. So simple things. I'm just getting the basic shape for my mesh. And here I am using a simple plane and simple operations like extrude and move here and there. That's simple. Then add a loop cut at the center and one loop cut like this. After that, here I am trying to create that curve edge for the model. So that's why you just need to move the words. And you are not uh, getting the transfer or transform orientation right. Then you just need to make it straight and then add a curve on your mesh so you can move the words easily and then you can uh, take it back then you can move it little bit back like this and that will be more easier and convenient so that's why you just need to try the different ways to get the right shape for your mesh And then just you need to take the symmetry so here I have added the subdivision sub subdivision surface modifier so you can see I have added the subdivision surface modifier and now I'm just tweaking the words here and there to get the right shape for my mesh and that's why your observation is important for the right shape And now you can see it's look pretty well. So whatever I'm modeling in this tutorial or any kind of hard surface model, modeling tutorial, it is from the guideline of the hard surface modeling. Like I follow the Andrew Hodgson, which is the senior hard surface artist in ILM studio and he, ha he has a good guideline for the hard surface uh, modeling mostly the subdivision surface modeling because this is the production workflow and so if you visit his work, uh, website then you will get that guideline for the hard surface modeling uh, workflow and you can get the good knowledge on his website so you can go uh, and visit his R station page also and just to see his uh, portfolio and you will get the link of his uh, uh, website link and I will give the link in the description also so just visit it website and you will get the good knowledge about the hard surface modeling which is applicable in the production workflow so you can see just now I have added the cuts like this with the knife tool and just create the basic design for your mesh and then you can edit the topology topology doesn't matter in the initial stage means in the first don't need to worry about the topology just try to get the shape for your mesh try to get the design for your mesh and then you can edit the topology so you can see i am using the knife tool here just to get the shape just to get the design for my mesh and then I'm editing this topology so that, that's why you need to move the words here and there you need to connect the words and you can use the connect vertex path right click and then connect vertex path that one is the option is there so just add a look cuts like this and just try to get the core based topology few triangles are fine you must try to get the core based topology In the hard surface modeling also the right topology is important because the, for the production workflow good topology is important. 
you are modeling for the game then topology doesn't matter that much because we reduce the poly count in the game in the production workflow for the VFX we require the high res models and good topology models so you can see I have dissolved that edge and I take that workflow like this so I can add a curve on that mesh so you can see first I added a look at simple lookers then I use a knife tool and I change the path means I change the flow of edge flow right the simple thing with the knife tool I have did this now you just you need to move your edge for the right edge flow and then select these faces and then insert this simple 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 things you can do to model your model yeah so just here i have used the simple extrude operation insert and extrude operation then just take it back a little bit move it along the local z axis i guess a normal z axis And now you can see your mesh is getting the form and make sure your all lines should be parallel that will be good for your topology your good edge flow then if necessary then add loop cuts and every time rotate around your mesh so you can see your mesh from the all views all sides so you will get the more idea about your mesh where you want to add more details that's why in the production workflow the sub modeling is important if you are in the India then I can give one advice to you because whenever I when I was searching for the job that time in India at least they require the Maya and Maya software for the modeling workflow. Blender's best studios are also there in India, but most studios use Maya because it's the industry standard. So you have to learn the Maya software also. That's also important. I'm not telling, I'm not against the Blender because Blender is also amazing software and I love Blender more than Maya. But if you want to get into the industry, then you have to learn the Maya also because that's the industry standard so modeling process are simple modeling process are same in both softwares not uh, different uh, not that much differences in between the modeling process if you see compare the both softwares so that's why you can practice in any kind of software software doesn't matter but you want to get the job in any particular studio so you have to learn that software at least the basic of the software you can learn easily so that's why I'm saying you if you are if you want to get the job in any studio suppose if I can uh, like take the ILM studio and ILM studio require the Maya ZBrush such kind of softwares because these are the industry standard softwares just search so uh, if you are searching for the studio and if you want to get any uh, job in any studio then just uh, search their website and see the job requirements so you will find out the software requirement and learn those softwares start to learn those software simultaneously with the blender because blender is also amazing software and blender will give you the lot of opportunities also but if you want to target any specific studio then you have to learn that software and now you can see just I have added the simple crease design that's not complicated simple I have used the loop cuts and then I have just adjusted those loop cuts and then I insert that loop, uh, loop cut edge and then I added that bevel on that edge and simply I have extruded inside that faces and I have created that design So you can see your mesh looks pretty well. You can see the edge flow is also right. And 
then select this edge and just extrude it and move it along the y axis global y axis and that's totally depend on your design uh, if you want to improve your hard surface modeling more then i use this technique because i search for the kit bash part and if i get any kit bash then i buy that kit bash or you can just see those images of the kit bash preview images and just try to create the same kind of model from that kit bash part that will also help you to improve your hard surface modeling so you you get that wireframe mode reference images and just start to create the same kind of topology you can add your own variety in it you can add your own details your own idea and just try to understand how to create this kind of shape what will be the mentality of that artist so he uh, he is able to create such kind of hard surface model so that's why you just need to observe the things around you you can listen the interviews of different artists different hard surface artists and i would like to suggest if you know the norman school of art then they also have their youtube channel and there you can go and just search uh, just uh, search there and you can find a different kind of industry artist interviews podcast this kind of things and if you want to watch the interviews of the artist industry artist then you can search the blender guru interview series and you will get the amazing interviews of the industry standard artist who work in the different kind of studios like a blur blizzard this kind of studios then island 24th century and watch the different kind of artist interviews so you will learn from those interviews also suppose you want to you are interested in the hard surface then you can watch the interview of the character artist also the concept artist also that will also help you and if you want to make the any hard surface model then you need a concept for that model i also like to use the concept design suppose i want i want to model this hard surface uh, piece then i will create the base mesh and now i want to add the more details on that model so i will use the simple thing i will use the photoshop i will take its front view render uh, viewport render from the front view and then i will take it to the photoshop after taking it to the photoshop or any uh, 2d software like a sketchbook also then start to create a different kind of design on it take the brush and create a different kind of design that's and then you can create those design in your 3d program in blender any modeling softwares and that's helps a lot so you can create the imaginary things in first in the concept and then you can easily model those things in a 3d that's why the concept is also important so watch the different aspects of 3d like watch 3D artist interviews they can be modeling artists they can be texturing artists from different kind of character artist hard surface artist environment artist also learn the basic principles of the design principles then color theory composition all these things are also important that's why if you want to grow your modeling skill if you want to grow your artwork then just you need to observe the things around you you need to listen to the, the different artist that helps a lot and now you can see i have created the amazing mesh here simple and easy hard surface modeling i have did here and you can see these techniques in my different videos also i'm using the simple insert extrude this kind of operations bevel and this uh, loop tool loop tool with loop tool is also very useful tool in the blender 
if you want to make a quick circle then you can use definitely and that's helps a lot because the modeling skill is depend on your creativity and how you model anything in a faster and easier way that's also important so you can see i'm getting the shapes in a simple way don't go for the more complex shape try with a simple one and then you can take it the more complex and now you can see our mesh looks decent and decent kind of hard surface modeling we have done here thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care